China just revealed nuclear fusion reactor will change everything. Nuclear now truly means unlimited. And the human dream of traveling to far off distances of our universe is now one step away from becoming a reality with these new fusion reactors. With this breakthrough after nuclear powered submarines. Now nuclear spaceships are possible too. China just claims the nuclear fusion reactor will change everything. How is nuclear fusion preferable to current energy sources? And what progress has China made in fusion technology? Join us as we dive into how nuclear fusion reactors will change everything you can ever think of. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Voltage. We are here technology with all the latest high voltage car updates and their features from top to bottom and also give you a brief analogy of them. So hurry up and subscribe to the channel and smash the notification bell not to miss any of our updates. With that being stated, let's jump into the business. Nuclear fusion is when two smaller atomic nuclei collide and fuse into a larger one and a tremendous amount of energy is released. For fusion reactions to occur, the matter must be in the plasma state. Plasma is defined as a hot, charged gas that consists of positively charged ions. It also consists of free-moving electrons. Their characteristics are different from solids, liquids and gases. All stars, including the Sun, are fueled by this process. Since the 1930s, when the concept of nuclear fusion became known, scientists and engineers have endeavored to replicate and harness it. If nuclear fusion can be recreated on Earth at an industrial scale, it might supply nearly unlimited, clean, safe and economical energy to fulfill global demand. Fusion has the potential to generate four times as much energy per kilogram of fuel as fission, the process that is used in nuclear power plants. However, fusion might generate about four million times more energy than burning oil or coal. Fusion fuel is readily available and not difficult to acquire. Deuterium can be extracted from seawater at a reasonable cost, and the collision of fusion-generated neutrons with lithium results in production of tritium. These fuel reserves would persist for countless centuries. More importantly, nuclear fusion emits no carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Thus, it might serve as a long-term source of carbon-free power beginning in the second part of this century. Fusion energy is a practical kind of renewable energy that has the potential to alleviate energy shortages and environmental issues. China has created a strategy to produce magnetic confinement fusion, in which commercial fusion reactors would use superconducting tokamaks. The experimental advanced superconducting tokamak, EAST, is the first superconducting tokamak in the world. The China Fusion Engineering Test Reactor, CFETR, is a tokamak fusion reactor that confines plasma using a magnetic field to generate energy. A feasible and practical thermonuclear fusion reactors are being produced by devices known as tokamak devices. Renewable energy with little environmental effect can be created with the help of these devices. China claims to have developed the world's first power plant to transform fusion energy into electricity. As previously mentioned, two or more atomic nuclei collide and fuse in nuclear fusion, and new atomic nuclei and subatomic particles are created, neutrons or protons, generating much energy without much waste. This occurs at temperatures of around 10 million degrees Celsius because of the immense gravitational forces in the sun's core. For fusion to occur at a slightly lower pressure, temperatures must be considerably greater, reaching 100 million degrees Celsius. Almost nothing can survive being in close touch with that kind of heat. Scientists have developed a method to create fusion in the lab by isolating plasma inside a donut-shaped magnetic field. The device with a donut form is known as a tokamak. The Chinese CFETR is a tokamak that harnesses fusion energy to produce a magnetic field so strong that it can hold and control hydrogen gas that is 10 times hotter than the sun's core. When fusion occurs, two hydrogen atoms fuse into a single atom, releasing enormous energy. However, it isn't easy to regulate the heated plasma. The longest run to yet has lasted barely two minutes. The reactor must be shut down and cooled if the plasma becomes unstable before initiating a new cycle. In around a decade, Chinese researchers expect that they will be able to extend the shelf life of stable plasma to several hours. The China Fusion Engineering Test Reactor, CFETR, will create a large amount of heat with a peak power output of up to 2 gigawatts when it is completed. According to a leading scientist actively involved in the project, China plans to complete and begin producing electricity from an experimental nuclear fusion reactor by the year 2040. As stated by Shang Kui, 
head engineer of thermal systems at the Electrical Power Design Institute, known as China Energy Engineering Group, Guangdong. It is difficult to convert heat into electricity since the reactor must take a break every two hours for 20 minutes. A facility in France, known as the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, where nuclear fusion experiments are conducted with the support of a global collaboration that includes the EU, the United States, Russia and China. They anticipate making progress by the second part of the century. The Chinese device will eventually be used to test the technology for the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER. It is the world's biggest fusion project, which is projected to be operational by 2025. Nevertheless, its progress remains impressive. A new record announced on December 31st adds to a previous record set in May, when a plasma temperature of 120 million degrees Celsius was maintained for about 101 seconds using the same apparatus. This is only the tip of the iceberg regarding fusion reaction development. ITER is expected to produce its first plasma around 2025. Then a demonstration reactor will be constructed to produce 500 megawatts of electricity from 50 megawatts of input a tenfold return on energy. The experimental advanced superconducting tokamak, known as EAST for short, is China's magnetic fusion energy reactor. According to Xinhua News Agency, the nuclear fusion reactor EAST experimental advanced superconducting tokamak maintained a temperature of nearly 70 million degrees Celsius for time span of 1056 seconds. Thanks to this accomplishment, scientists have taken a modest but crucial step to develop a source of almost limitless renewable energy. The EAST reactor is a kind of tokamak consisting of an energy-depleted metal torus, into which hydrogen atoms are subsequently injected. This plasma is subsequently compressed using a cluster of strong superconducting magnets. According to the US Department of Energy, EAST employs magnetic fields to shape turbulent plasma into a loop course at high temperatures. This plasma, or gas, is often unstable. Heavy hydrogen atoms, such as deuterium and tritium, are heated by lasers within the tokamak to temperatures of hundreds of millions of degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature at which fusion processes first occur in stars. According to Newsweek, the heat makes it possible for scientists to simulate high gravitational pressure at a star's core. When temperatures reach these levels, the atomic nuclei inside a tokamak will begin to collide, releasing energy that may be used to create electricity. However, keeping plasma from leaking at such high temperatures has been impossible. Researchers have been trying to harvest energy from nuclear fusion for the last 70 years. However, thanks to China's breakthrough with EAST, scientists are getting closer to sustainably harvesting cosmic energy. According to Song Yuntao, the deputy director of EAST, the apparatus they developed is controlled. He can switch off the power supply at any moment, and there is no fear of a nuclear accident. For knowledge advancement and to assist in developing advanced reactors, such as the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, and the Chinese Fusion Engineering Test Reactor, EAST is used to investigate how to maintain electron temperatures of over 100 million degrees for extended periods. A country like China, which has enormous energy requirements, would benefit tremendously from commercializing nuclear fusion energy. This is because nuclear fusion energy can provide unlimited amounts of clean energy. Even if only for a few seconds, exceeding 100 million degrees Celsius proves that achieving the temperatures required for nuclear fusion is possible. Despite its tremendous cost, we do not know whether fusion energy will ever be economically viable. Even if they operate, their construction costs may be high. It is a trillion dollar gamble, and the money would be better spent on renewable energy sources that have been proved effective. Perhaps we should cut our losses. But if the reward is an unending supply of clean energy for everybody, the risk may be worthwhile. That brings us to the end of today's video. Now you know about this technology, would you support it? Let us know in the comments down below and we will catch you in the next one.